Welcome to Techie Bytes, where we teach you how to use Windows Office programs. Today we're going to do the dget function in MS Excel. Let's get started. What does dget give you? It extracts from a database a single record that matches the condition that you specified. But in layman's terms, it's used to get some data out of the database after you give the function a certain condition. We can get the function by either entering the formula in text or clicking the formula tab and choosing the effects feature. So I'm going to enter the formula in text, but before we start entering the formula, we need to create a database table and a criterion table. As you can see, we've made a database of some people with their gender, their height, their age, and their weight. For the criteria table, we put in two criteria, f as the gender and age as less than 10. Getting to the function, we start any function in Excel with the equal sign. Then we type dget and open the parentheses. The syntax of the dget function goes database field criterion. So first we're going to select the database, starting with the column heads. So we select it and put in a comma. The next thing we're going to put in is the field, meaning the column head whose data we want to get from the function. For our example, we're selecting the weight column, so we click where the weight header is. Finally, we select our criterion for the function, which is the table we've made above the database. The criterion is what the function is looking for, so in this example, it's looking for a female, and it's looking for a person whose age is less than 10. To input it, we'll just select the whole criterion table. Now, if we close our parenthesis, we get our output as 76.5. So the weight of the female whose age is under 10 is 76.5. Similarly, you can use the formula in another way, by clicking the formula box. If you choose dget, you get a dialog button. There you need to select the database, the field as weight, and the criteria, and then press OK. And you get the same answer as 76.5. So that's how you use the dget function, and as you can see, it's pretty useful for extracting specific data from the database. Don't forget to subscribe to Techie Bytes.